<clears throat> well, here we go. Uh, this odd thing on the roof up here is uh, because that circle has to be bigger than the rest of the roof. Uh, it bumps out so that we have the uh, uh, overhang. Up there is the same overhang as the rest of the house and this for this little window right here. This is different because the uh, this outer wall here is bumped out uh, a meter rather than in a meter. Um, see this lanai here, this is lanai number one. Um, it's the wall on the other side is uh, about seven feet, uh, a little over two meters. This one you know, on the back would be the same. Um, over here, let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. See, this has a door put in it, but that's not the reason for the uh, for the thing going out the other way. Inside of this door is a uh, an actual room. It's got two windows, one on the end, one on the side. Right now it's a storage bin for uh, ornamental iron. And boy, it's a new workplace. He's do, uh, doing some more on these uh, stairs today. You can see there's a uh, uh, two inch uh, number nine welder wire mesh on the, uh, uh, the inside, uh, well, it would be a hand drill on it. It looks a lot shorter than the outside, but the vertical height from the tread up to the handrail is the same on both sides. It just is so steep, it falls away so quick. That's why it looks like that. And there's uh, some wiring yet to do. <laughs> I'd pretty much say that wiring's not even started other than it's pulled through the pipe. Here's another one. It's not as far along as that one. They've all got the breakers in the in, uh, enclosures, but uh, not a whole lot of anything connected. Ah. Yeah, I'm gone. Okay. See how dizzy we can get here. Oh. Okay. This is an example of how it mounts the welder wire mesh. There's a four millimeter hole drilled into concrete, and then there's a uh, concrete nail. It's like two inch on this. It's got a little uh, washer and then a, a um, fender washer on either side of the uh, welder wire mesh and behind that is a uh, 7 16 what they call ordinary nut. That means it's US thread and a full height nut. The edge has got this uh, half inch plastic pipe temporarily spread around it. And that acts as a guide to make a smooth curve because the uh, concrete itself is not a, a, a smooth line, it's faceted. I don't know why old people go to a set of stairs in the middle of a house, but we did. Too late now. Okay, yeah, you can see that some. This is why it's not a uh, um, spiral staircase, it's actually a helical staircase because there's a center uh, core left out. It's uh, about, uh, I think it's 24 or 25 inches diameter. And uh, there's a lot of these uh, three quarter inch holes 
That's where bolts went through and tied the inside form to the outside form. And this has got uh, the, the plastic uh, pipe guide rails on it as well. Uh, he just does it like he's rendering a wall, except it has to deal with the curve. We put up uh, 14 of those uh, double light fixtures so far. I got seven more to buy. Uh, they're pretty well made, sold in all home. About 700 pesos thereabout. For electrical inspection, we put up the uh, standard little um, uh, light bulb socket. Uh, they're mounted to a piece of flat bar is, is, uh, with uh, stainless anchors going into the ceiling. And it'll take the, uh, uh, the, the big aluminum uh, Krauss Heinz uh, box, which is about two inches bigger than, than the ones we're using. These metal boxes came from uh, Wilcon Depot, 60 pesos each. The cover didn't come with it, that's 22 pesos, but they were out of stock. So I found out the local hardware store had them, and that's where we got them. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe today we can see some of this in here. See if I can make it smaller. Ah, there we go. Uh, this concrete slab up here, uh, around the edges, it had bracing about this dense. But the reason this bracing is here, when there is no concrete above it, that's phenolic board up there, and that's the workshop. So that phenolic board will be used for something else later on. All the experienced lumber gets used again and again and again. But those are full sheets, so they're worth something. Um, that was because we had another set of stands, just about like these, above that. Because on top of that was the forms for the spider beam. And that eventually that roof slab would sit on the spider beam. So there was, uh, I don't know, many tons of concrete above it. But this, this was because we didn't want to try to build um, uh, you know, stands that tall, you know, all the way up. These stands were used in the rooms. They're uh, 10 feet, one and five thirty seconds tall. And uh, the difference is uh, down, down below here, you maybe can see it. There's two thicknesses of wooden block space in these, uh, uh, these frame sets. That keeps them out of the water, but also we had to have them taller for this center uh, because the piece that went above it up there, uh, we were making, but the phenolic board had to sit on top of the, of the concrete here. So this stuff here had to come up uh, even with the top edge of that concrete. And that concrete is uh, eight inches thick on this edge, and the outboard edge is six inches thick. Um, and that's so we have uh, a drainage, uh, about a quarter inch to the foot. This so the water will run off. Uh, eventually, there won't be any way for it to run in if it was level, but we're gonna put ceramic tile on all that up there for a roof. It, re it reflects the heat. Uh, and it, if you have any drying cracks, you know, it'll cover that up. This uh, uh, is filthy. But that's what concrete looks like if you haven't got skim coat on it. Uh, this is what it looks like with skim coat on it. So, uh, and, and the, the walls are rendered. Uh, it, they, they pretty much do a lot of it with one coat of skim coat. And this is something. Oh, we're in master bedroom. I, I can tell it's a master bedroom because we have interior windows in some rooms. Between the master bedroom and the master bath, uh, we have a uh, 57 or so inch diameter window. And these uh, window casings were cast into the wall when we cast it. That's the shape of the form. So uh, you can make it any size you want, of course. These are tapered because it was uh, originally made to go on the outside. And uh, any water that got in it would run to the outside. If it ran down, it would be headed out as well as down. And uh, kept water from running in the house. And none's ever came in, so it comes through the roof, but it doesn't come through that. 
And uh, those are vent windows for uh, showers and a stove, things like that. These uh, frames here, this, you can see this first one. It's got four uprights, all the same length, got a top and bottom uh, header piece. Can't see this in the dark. It's got one diagonal brace. Um, this looks like it has an X brace, but there's another form sitting right behind it, about eight inches behind it. Uh, any, any of them we had, we just put them all up. So there may be overkill on some of it, but uh, uh, didn't fall down, so. That cave there is the electrical room. We won't look at that. It's a work in progress for sure. These uh, little green looking things, they're uh, sold to sell strawberries and fruit in at a supermarket. We bomb and we put um, the little plastic bags that they give you on everything you buy here. We actually went out and bought some of those bags. You put this little uh, uh, fiberboard thing, fiber paper thing in there and pour cement in it. And uh, that gives us an inch and three quarter high uh, concrete uh, pad we put under the rebars. And the side of the thing is tapered. So uh, the taper goes up and that way it can't get knocked out or fall out of the floor. Uh, and of course you're gonna skim coat over it so it doesn't make any difference. But. Um, that's a poor look at that. Yeah, this is an end view. It shows the, uh, the kind of construction on the concrete forms we use. Uh, there's two pieces 16 inches wide, one on either side, and this is on the back, of course. And then there's a piece in the middle that would have been 16 inches, but that one on a different form, of course. No scrap. Uh, it's faced with uh, three-quarter uh, phenolic board. We tried plywood, but it came apart worse than the phenolic board. Um, the big round hole, that's uh, access for the uh, uh, through bolts. Eh, you can't see it, but there's a bolt hole there. Those bolt holes are fixed so that they don't go through the, any of the uh, rebars, either the, the horizontal ones or the vertical ones. Uh, the, the horizontal ones start off at like two and a half inches off the floor, and then plus four, plus four, uh, and that brings us to around 10, 10 and a half, and then they're 10 on center from there up to the top two, which are also closer together. Because most of the stress on, on a, uh, you know, beam is in the flanges, so that would be the, the bottom. Um, I don't know if we can make it out. All those things that look like nail holes, those are uh, Torx head screws. And they're, they're uh, as you look around the bolt hole, you see they're on a diagonal. That other screw hole was there to patch a, uh, uh, some delaminated uh, phenolic board, which is pretty well bad on this one. But they're, they're um, on a diagonal. So if you uh, take this phenolic board off and change it, then you can uh, uh, have it you know, diagonal the other way. We, we drill the, the, the facings, then just put them up there and run the screws into the, the framework. So uh, that, that gives you two shots where the screws won't hit each other, which is kind of beneficial. Okay, this is uh, one of the uh, window uh, forms. My wife made these on a bandsaw. Uh, I drew the patterns in CAD, printed them full scale. We got a large format printer in the shop. And uh, she glued them on with uh, wallpaper paste. And then the, the wallpaper paste, uh, after you cut the parts out, you get a paint roller with water on it, roll it over it, and uh, then it, it softens the paper and the glue and it comes right off. Uh, I'm basically lazy, so I took a uh, four inch grinder with uh, one of those twisted wire wire brushes and just blew the paper away. <clears throat> it just went everywhere. 
There's like uh, seven pieces of, of segments, staggered joints, and it's, uh, it's held together with half inch bolts, seven sixteenths bolts. And uh, there's four pieces in that one, four, four layers. This thing in, over here in the dark, that's the top half of a door. It's uh, a similar construction, but it's only 180 degrees. In when we were, uh, hmm, there's a there's another um, big circle. Let's go see what that is. Not in there. Should be here somewhere. Uh, it is in there. Okay, this is the form for the uh, large windows. Um, I'm struggling for a measuring tape for a minute. Fifty nine and three quarters inches across. That's the biggest place on it. Um, there's many bolts around here holding it together. They get a bulkhead in the center that keeps it round. You just bump all these uh, segments up against the bulkhead and tighten the bolts. And uh, you have to go around to the outside corners and tap them, line them up so that they're smooth when you pour the concrete. Uh, we put this back together last time we took it apart so we didn't mix the parts up or lose them. They're numbered, but still put them like a number eight, number nine. Um, we're going to turn this into a, a, a tabletop with a glass top on it and uh, infinity lights. Because it's, it's, uh, it's made out of pressure treated lumber we sent from the U.S., so it, it'll last forever. But we're going to make a table out of it, conversation piece. Uh, and this is the inside of the uh, master bathroom. Oh, she says there's seven layers in this one. Uh, the reason there's not in some of the other ones is because they had uh, three-quarter inch plywood layers for spacers, and they decomposed. And then we went to a thinner wall uh, on the last place that was used, so they never, we never put spacers back in it. But the normal walls are seven inches thick plus the three centimeters of render on each side. Uh, we're gonna just stop this video and start again, because uh, they tell me it's hard to upload this if we ever figure out how to do it, if it gets too big. So let me see if I can stop it.